Hey love bugs, this is Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos has just, you know, been giving good vibes or whatever um, that's taking place and you really needed that, you know, please, hey, go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It will be greatly appreciated. And the video, um... Oh, I said the video I'm doing today. Oh, yeah. I always got to tell you this because I got too many daggone people that watch me. They're always trying to block something. Uh, anything, everything on here is everything. My my essence, all my either signature and all that other stuff is heavily protected and divinely guided and always loved. So anything that you're doing to either block, destroy, delay, or distort, A, hey, is going back towards you 20 million times fold. Okay, the video I'm doing today... It's called silence is power, especially when you're blocking out the unnecessary noise. That is so daggone true. You know, a lot of times my, my, my situation where I had to really learn the hard way, but it, it was just like, you know, we always learn this no matter what it is. We're always learning, whether it's the hard way or no way at all. You're finding out, hey, there's do's and don'ts for you doing things. You know, I used to be that type of person when people used to really push my buttons. And I'm like, that's okay because I'm a this, this, and this, and this, and that. And not realize that you were always telling them what the next move is going to be and you wondering why stuff is messing up. And it'll be just like, you have to be able to move in silence. Even when I was telling y'all in the other video, there'll be different things that I was so proud of myself for me accomplishing because I was always that type of person when things were just not going my way I used to be quick to give up on it and it'll be a certain thing my mom used to always tell me it's like you, you don't have a bad habit of doing that to where um you're going to keep doing stuff like that and you're going to end up missing many blessings because you keep you know allowing yourself to give up because a lot of times you have to be able to just go through some things to get to it you know and you're learning along the way but don't sit up here and keep blocking yourself because things got too hard and it's just like you have to be able to block out that unnecessary noise it could be your ego it could be your fear it could be your enemies you know different things that's taking place into your life that it, it can really put a damper on stuff you know you even even if somebody else is breathing fear into something because they see that you got that potential you have that light that you can carry to really make something happen for yourself especially if you that type of person where it just seemed like people are like it seemed like it comes easy for them things were just handed to them i'm like nothing was handed to me anything that i had taken place in my life that considered as a blessing to me in every way i earned that i worked hard for it because i had too many people i had to work harder than the people that are trying to just always constantly try to block things for me and I got a lot of them just doing that. So it had to be at that point where I had to constantly move in silence, you know. And you'll hear different things where, you know, if you're you're very spiritually gifted, you know, a lot of times people do mirror magic. People do, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is it, mirror skyring on you because they're curious about you. Especially if you're that type of person, you stay very low key. You move in silence. So it's like with me, I don't do videos every day. You know, I take that time where universe telling me, hey, you need to back up. You need to do this. You need to do that. Move this way. This move, move that way. I'll go ahead and be obedient with that and just do that. And I, I'll feel it like people are just trying to figure out what I'm doing. You know, anytime I do videos, I always have somebody listening to me, like trying to figure out what I'm doing and getting upset. And it's at that point, like, I really don't care. You know, I'm still doing what I need to do. You know, whether you watch me, you spy on me, I got people that stop me 24 dag on 7. But it's like, it's not going to stop me from what I'm doing. I'm blocking out all the unnecessary noise. You're not a factor to me. You know, but it'll be those different things where I appreciate the bad things that I constantly have to go through. I appreciate the enemies that I have because it allows me to know you wouldn't have so many people that are doing all these daggone, you know, outrageous spells, doing different things to do stuff to take you out, trying to block every blessing that you got, you know, moving in groups and numbers thinking, oh, I got this, oh, I got that, you know, and really thinking they're going to be doing something. It's just like each and every time, you know, People are trying to understand how are you able to make it? How are you able to, every trap that I done set for you, it is just messed up and I am so tired. Newsflash, if it wasn't meant, if it, whatever trap you have for somebody just because you meant it for them, it's going to end up being for yourself. You got to keep quit doing different stuff like that. You got to say enough is enough. But I guess when it has dividends and dollar signs on it, folks are just not going to do that. So it's like, okay, you're going to have to learn the hard way just like everybody else that keeps doing stuff like that. But 
it's at that point where you have to be able to really silence this power because a lot of times people will bring stuff your way just to see what they can take back you know a lot of times you know i got you know moles and rats that's by me just to go back and say oh well she's doing this and this and this and that and calling and saying and i've been wondering why I, I don't really talk to nobody i just do my videos and there's people that don't even know unless they were told about the different stuff that i'm doing i'm always wondering why why how do you know these things because i don't talk to you you know, the mouth of the damn South that I live with, you know, it, it, it's just the intercom. But it'll be, you know, different things where, you know, it, it can get up under somebody's skin. Because especially if you're an empath and, you know, you're cleared out a lot, you become, you're that hypersensitive. So it's just like energy. I don't, I don't care how much you try to act like you're cool, you copacetic, what I'm doing ain't bothering you. Even though I'm focusing on me, it ain't even about you. Especially if I know that you, you're just damning to my soul. Hell yeah, I'm trying to do any and everything to get the hell away from you. So yes. I am trying to do things that I am to part ways with things that are no longer serving me. People that are no longer serving me. That people keep doing everything they possibly can to try to block things, put fear into my life to make sure, you know, it is just like she has what it takes. And you know, with everything that's going on around her, she is determined. Hell yes, I am. When you deal with what I got to deal with on a daily basis, you can see why I move the way I move. And you have to be that way. When you know that you're moving towards something that can be very massive for you, no matter what it is. It, it could be something little for somebody else, but it can be huge for you. No matter how the size of the blessing is, you need to, silence is always the greatest power for you. You know? And you choose, and I always tell people, choose your battles wisely. A lot of times when people are doing things just to get a reaction out of you, half of the time, it's like when I, I'll tell people here, you have to have a, a thick skin doing videos and stuff like that because you're putting your life on the line for people to have judgment there'll be different people that really admire what you do depending you know depending on what it is you know mine is like spiritual uh motivational different things like that so i get negative as well as positive on that and there'll be different things that i will respond to if it's worth responding to and if not i'm just not <laughs> you know i'll just block you and keep it moving and going about my business and that's the best thing out of it because a lot of times people do things just to get a reaction out of you or they'll pull you know they'll poke you just to see how you're gonna poke back you know and i used to be that person that i clap back at every single thing and it has to be that point you have to allow yourself to be quiet at times and allow things to roll out the way they are because a lot of times people you know especially when you're dealing with narcissists that's how they they get their empowered that's how they do different things in life is by hitting below the belt because they need they can't empower themselves by seeing other people happy because they feel like they're the only one everything has to be on their attention everybody has to be upset because i always tell people when it comes to narcissists you can talk good about them bad about them you know um long as you ain't telling truth about them that's the only thing that they don't like but if, they, if you talking good or bad about them is along and uh, allowing them to know oh that person's on my mind i'm on that person's mind or i'm not on that person's tongue or whatever like that but when you start telling the truth out it that's all the hell they, they, they never want to be discovered out as the truth that's where you really don't hit a button they don't like that but it's at that time where i see where it will be certain things that's like, okay, they're trying to get a reaction out of me. Or, oh, they're trying to, you know, make me want to say something. And allow, is at that point where, you know, I used to say, you know, I'll just do different things. Like, okay, if you keep things trashed up, I'll just go ahead and get it. Because I'm not going to be reacting to you because that's what you're wanting. But now it's just like, I go ahead and say what I got to say. I said, look, you're, you're waiting for a reaction out of me. I'm tired of you doing this. You need to clean this up or whatever. And stop, you know, stop trying to be so busy body and try to work about something. Focus on yourself. You know, and I really, and it's like with my situation, I feel like the way people move heavy on trying to block things from me, you know, putting hits on me, the way you move like that, you move heavy and you focus on that. If you can actually put that same kind of vibration on healing yourself, trying to get to the core of why you're acting like this in the first place, you know, understanding, hey, I messed up, <laughs> you know, I really messed up a blessing here. So I, let me not try to block, block this person's blessing because it's just like you have to go towards the kindergarten things don't do something that you don't want done to you don't don't act a certain way unless you you know you don't want it done to you don't dish something if you can't take it and that's why i deal with it. because if i return that same energy and i don't but i'll sit up here and be that person i'll speak truth to you and it can cut like a knife all of a sudden it's a problem 
And it's just like a lot of times I'm just not going to say nothing because that's what you're looking for. You have to be that type of person to be able to choose your battles wisely. You know, and I tell people that, you know, because a lot of times people bring a bone just to carry one back. You know, a lot of times you have to understand, even though they are approaching you about it, they're miserable with their own lives. They don't like, it's like, I don't know why that person like me, don't like me. And I, I remember I put a post out and that mess was funny as hell. I will braid water before I worry about you not liking me, wondering why you don't. Because a lot of times when it ain't even about you, it's something about them. They, you ain't the only person they doing that to. <laughs> They're trying to do everything they possibly can to make people miserable because that's what miserable people do. You know, It'd be on those different things because I'm that type of person where... You know, if I'm feeling some type of way, and I'm just like, I'm not going to do no videos like this today because I feel like I'm projecting or I'm in a vulnerable state. Now, universe will be at that time where I'm guiding you to do the video because there's a lot of people that's in this vibration and don't speak about it. There's a lot of chapters in our lives that we don't read the lines towards out loud. There's a lot of things that we go through that we keep it to ourselves because there's battles that we're facing. We don't even want to fight them ourselves. And we keep on acting like there's things that's okay. You don't know how many people that are always out here that's going out their way to make people happy or the loneliest people in the world. People that show so much love to people is rarely the ones that actually receive that back. You know? And it's really like that. And you just don't know how your silence is power. Because it's like when you're doing that, and I tell people that, and they'll be like, Rosalind, you are so right. And it'll, and it'll be like, this is a shame. I'm just now learning this. You are never too old to learn something new. Because a lot of times you have to understand, I, you know, I'm not judging nobody because there's some times I'm like, oh, I was yesterday old when I found out this. You know how slow that made me feel when I was doing stuff like that. I'm like, man, how long has this been going on? Life forever. But it just needed you to go through certain things just to say, hey, this is happening. But it's okay to learn stuff like that because you're never too old to learn something new is you know you never to learn uh old to learn a, a different direction on how to approach things or different you know certain things you just really need to step back and see the bigger picture on different things or a higher perspective of what's taking place in your life because that's how we learn that's how we live that's you, you know we learn to be able to heal because we're doing these different things like that you know if you want better in your life you have to be able to move better have to be able to speak better these things that i'm going through yes it may be rough or it may be heavy, but these are the things that's in, in empowering me. These are the different things that are strengthening me. You know, if I didn't have some kind of resistance, some kind of, you know, speed bump that's in my way, how would I know what's really worth going for? What do I know that's really, you know, telling me, hey, you're on the right track. If you got people out here that's doing everything they possibly can to disrupt your peace, you must be doing something powerful because see, a lot of people don't want to see you win. There'll be some people that are admiring you like, hey, you keep doing what you're doing because it's amazing. You got these people listening. You got this person doing this. And, it, you know, and they're understanding there's more people out there that's like them that's going through the same thing I'm going through. And those are beautiful things that you go through. We're all going through certain things in our life. But it's just certain people that just want to be stuck in that situation and refuse to change. But it's just at that point, they're, they're helping you out on showing you what, what you need to do. You know, so it's just like a lot of times I sit to myself, I, well, all the time I sit to myself. If it's somebody that's on here, or I speak to a few friends, you know, when I got something going on, it'll be those one or two friends that I know I keep tight. Like, hey, if something like this happened, I need you to do this, 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 and this, and this, and that. Because I always keep like one or two people close to me. So if anything happens, they already, already know what spots to hit, where to go send certain things, what to go, <laughs> you know, what to upload, what to do this, and all that. So I already got all my stuff covered. I always keep, you know, I keep my folks that I need to right exactly where I need to be. But it is just like a lot of times you have to be able to move in silence. It's just like stuff is getting crazy nowadays. There's a lot of things that, you know, you don't know how close to victory you are. You don't know how close the doors are opening for you. And it's just like a lot of times they say your enemies know. Because when they move in close like that and they rolling and, you know, strength the numbers, hey, you know, the devil be like, hey, she coming. Here, he's coming cool, too close to that door. I need y'all to all go in front of that door and distract them in every way possible. I need them to have all these different things going on in life because they can't open that door. Because whatever that door is opening, it's going to show God did this and this and that in that person's life. And I need people to doubt what God can do. I need them to be living in chaos. I need them to be living in drama and all this other stuff. So it's just like all the things you never know how close you are to your blessings. So that means you got to stay resilient. You got to be persistent. You know, when people want to stay persistent on trying to keep up drama with your life, you got to stay persistent on saying, okay, this is, this is 
clearly not about me. Even though it's about me, it's not about me. These are some issues with you that you clearly need to fix. If you can do all this in my life, this is something that you need to do. The same energy you need to place on yours. Point blank, period. You know, a lot of people do that. Because, I, I mean, I see the stuff that I go through. And I just think in the back of my mind, if you can do this with your own life, if you can fix your own self, this would be such an easier thing with you to be able to do it. Even if you needed help to do that, even after you did the things you did to me. I wouldn't have no problem with helping somebody to a distance, you know, but it will be at that point, you know. And these are the different things that take place into your life where you're growing. You're, you're, you're seeing different things in a different way. You're understanding why certain things had to go in that way. You know, you get clarity after a long time of confusion. But these are the different things that are making and breaking you. You know, you're breaking you away from things that's no longer needed in your life. It's making room for something else that is totally needed into your life. And you're going to appreciate every, every direction you've gone through, every door that closed, and every one that's opening. Because you needed that. Everything that's taking place in your life, it was needed. Every person that's been in your life, it was needed. You know, they always tell us, you know, never regret the people that are in our lives. You know, no matter what their, what, what their purpose is, you know, whether it was something good or horribly bad. You know, I've had that where I've regretted. And it was just like, don't don't wish these people out of your life. You know how much knowledge you got from these different people or so many red red flags that you needed to see. Because it's like now I'm at that purpose where I, I, I do not collect red flags anymore. I see it because I used to always be that person, give chances, give chances, and give chances. And I tell people you got to stop doing that because a lot of people do that just to the point because they're already going to assume they can always do a little sob story and say, oh, I'm sorry and this and this and that. If it happens more than twice... It's a habit. They're doing that because they already know, oh, I can be, you know, boo-hoo and say this and this and that. And they'll take me back or, you know, they'll be friends with me again. All I got to do is just give a lame story and I can keep doing the same thing. It'll be that point where you got to quit collecting red flags. Certain people are just like that and they want to stay like that. They want you to enable them. And so if they want to be in that way, you know, you just like, okay, you, you go to people that's going to enable you. I'm going to be that one that's going to challenge you. You don't want that. <laughs> you aren't going to like that. Because, you know, I've, I've been new towards that. I used to be that person that was always like that. And I used to be able to say, you know what? I used to get mad because I said, even though I could be very hardcore and very hood, I had, it was at that point where if it was somebody I really cared for, I put more love into their, into aspect of people that didn't even love me more than I did myself. Now it's like everything I poured into that person, now I'm like, shit, <laughs> I'm pouring that into myself. You do what you do. Okay, I'm going to pour that into myself. That's more healthier that way. You know, because I can't keep doing the things it's doing because this has been going on too long. So I have to be able to do that. There are certain people I have to just cut off. And regardless of who it is, where it had to be children, it had to be family, it had to be lovers, whatever it is. If it was something that was supposed to be there, it would never put me in a position to have to cut them off anyway. Or it never had me put me in a position to have me, me, me having to not trust you or feel like, why can I not trust you because you keep doing little you know, look, effed up things. So it'll be those different times where I really had to move in silence. And silence is your greatest power. And, you know, you have to be able to see is this if this is going to be a massive investment or me speaking on certain things with certain people or is this going to be a major setback. This is going to have me recycling a whole new situation, the same old situation where I'm trying to move to a new one. You have to be able to do that. And it'll be those things where you have to really just say, you know what, I'm grateful for these things that happen. Even though it hurt me to the core and it hurt me into my soul. But I'm glad these different things happen because it showed me the true motives and the intentions of a lot of things. And it'll be those times where you, you are not down to nothing. And it will show you, show, people's true character will really come out when you see, when, when, when you up against something or, you know, you got something coming your way or when you have nothing. Except friendship, love, and kindness, and wisdom. <laughs> you know, you see how many people are around you then. Because everybody, you know, they say everybody there during the sunshine. But even your shadow leaves at night. You know, and you have to be able to think that way. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Like I say, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Being able to help you find a deeper purpose about your life. Why certain things took place. And where is it trying to take you. If the universe gives me that information, be glad to be able to share it with you. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. I help out the best way I can. Also leave on my community section of my channel uh, different posts, different podcasts as well. Um, the posts can be about different changes that's going on. You know, the new moon, I don't know if it's today or 
or if it was just I can't remember when it was, but that mess has been powerful. So, you know, it's been circulating, percolating around here. So there's a lot of different things that's being revealed to you. So they're telling you anything that your intuition and your third eye has been telling you, especially if this mess been itching like crazy and your top of your head been itching, you've been getting a whole lot of downloads because that mess has been making you feel like you got dandruff or something else up, up in there. Because my, I was like, ugh, I'm going to have to wash my hair. I, lo I love a little bit of lot that I'm tired of doing. So, but it was just like, no, nah, that's just a lot of downloads is coming in and they're revealing a lot of things to you. Either you need to speak on or you need to just take a mental mindset to that you have to really be able to pay attention on and just keep that in your mental file cabinet so you can be able to move different in different ways. Either keep low or keep quiet or just sit still for a minute until they give you further <laughs> further further notice. So different things like that as well as being a Hayoka, I leave a lot of funny ha ha's. You know, it's good to have a little hee hee and a heavy ha ha. So I try to put that in there as well. You know, um any any vibes that you're truly needing right now to be able to get towards that next level of being consistent into your life, whether it's consistent, persistent, determination, motivation, you know, calmness, healing, focus. I'm sending all those vibes towards your way. If you're interested in um, being generous enough to drop a donation Nation Cash app is there as well. You know, um, I hope you had a great holiday uh, with family and friends. And, you know, got you know got you a little belly with you with all the nice, delicious food that everybody done cooked. And um, you know, please be safe and uh, productive and responsible throughout the week. And I hope this is a prosperous blessing of the week as well. Many wishes and abundance towards you. Um, even through uh, social distancing, please go ahead and give out love, light, positivity, words, live frequencies. You never know those things to really take somebody a long way. And just because you're doing it with no intentions or no ill will, it's going to take you even further. So much love to you. Shalom. God bless. I say peace. Namaste. Much love. Later.